So at Python Arcade, we often want to just kind of do some setup stuff at the beginning of the game. So I'm going to give you a bit of a starting point here with a couple of things that might be useful. So um, just to show you firstly what this one actually does. This one kind of puts a whole bunch of sprites on the screen in this kind of block formation. Uh, just to make it a little bit easier to see what we're actually looking at here, I'll, I'll make the sprites a bunch smaller and um, so they're all going to be like half the size of what they were before and you'll be able to see they come up in like a grid pattern there's 10 by 10 of them uh, in a grid there they are let's have a quick look at what's going on here I'm using loops I'm doing 10 columns and 10 rows and making a sprite each time and I'm spe uh, specifying the X and Y coordinate based on um, the, whichever value we're up to. So column is going 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so is row, and we're using those values. Multiply by 64. Uh, these sprites are 128 pixels by default, um, or, or that's their size anyway. Uh, so if we make them 0.5, which is what I had, that means they're all exactly 64 pixels wide. So you'll see here, if I make this 65, and this one 65, we'll have a one pixel gap in between. Just kind of trying to explain what's going on with this multiplier and, and, and so on. So this is a pretty common way of doing like big blocks of sprites, or if you want to have like a, a row, like a, a bounding box around the edge of your arena maybe, or something like that, or just a big row of sprites across the middle, typically you do a loop, or in this case, a nested loop, and um, calculate the position based on how far along we are. That's fine, no problem. A, another strategy which you can combine with that is shown here. I no longer uh, am working in, specific, in, in rows of them. I'm specifying a little list here. It's actually a list of lists. So the outer list contains three little inner lists. Each one is like an X, Y coordinate. So what you can see is I loop through each of these uh, values in this list, my map list, in turn. And the zeroth, the first value is the x coordinate, so 50 in this case, and 75 is the y coordinate here. And when we come through the second time, it's selected 150, 75 as being the, the sprite config. So 150 is the x, 75 is the y. Uh, that, we should see that working. So that's a relatively compact way of, um, there's the three sprites, that's a relatively compact way of specifying like multiple sprites that you want to draw on the screen. And of course we can add more to it. So for instance, if I wanted to have a speed, a different speed for each one for the X coordinate, 10, 20, 15. So each of these has a different speed and I'll just make that the, um, uh, the x speed shall we sprite dot change x um, equals sprite sprite config uh, and the third value in the list so let's just check that that works they should be moving across the screen oh I haven't done an update have I so they won't be moving close that We'll put that in just for the sake of completeness because sometimes we forget to do these things. So def on update and needs a self and on update always needs a delta time. It always needs it always knows how long it's been since it was last here and self dot wall auto complete. Yep, wall list dot draw. And uh, it should move now. No, not draw, dot update. Gosh, I'm rushing here. Shouldn't do that. I'm just going to wait for it to open and close. So run again. So we'll see the, it move across the screen now. And then what we'll do in a moment, so they will move at different speeds, is uh, we can like change their scale as well even. So maybe this first one we'll have as being tiny, 0.2. This one will have the normal size 0.5, and this one will have as uh, huge 2. Uh, I'm actually going to take that change out because well, I want to see them without them moving around, uh, 
rapidly across the screen. And so this will be sprite uh, config, and then it's the fourth item in the list. So we should see three different sized sprites here. Does not like that because of uh, O2. I mean, it's confused by it should be 0.2, shouldn't it? When you put a zero in front of things, you're specifying something slightly different. So we should see three different sized sprites tiny, normal, huge. Okay. Um, so you can make this as long as you need. It's just a, a you know a shorthand way of, of keeping it tidy. And if it gets a bit hard because it's getting a bit horizontal across your page, don't forget you can always do this and just have them going down the page so it just becomes easy to see and edit the different values as you go. Hope that's helpful.